do you see a situation when uh, new technology can somehow turn around and give cinematographers more power? Because this is what we teach in our school. We have special curriculum called expanded cinematography to prepare them and how to keep them in control of, of the images. Well, I, I think there's a, a two-part answer to that. First of all, the cinematographer has to have vision. And if the vision, if it's an artistic vision that the cinematographer can present, then it's incumbent to get the cinematographer involved as early as possible in the work. And the other part of turning that, that kind of paradigm around that the cinematographer is just you know, an animator or something like that, is for the cinematographer to state, I want to be involved. I, 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 and in fact, I, I'm going to make a case that I should be involved earlier sooner uh, rather than, than later. Sometimes that's incumbent on having a relationship with a director where, that is a strong one and the director sees how strong that would be, you know, in terms of the, the people who are working with uh, Manuel Lebeski. Exactly, see I was about to say, yeah. Gravity is a perfect sample when the director obviously pushed through that she was supposed to be from day X until day Z. Yes. And this is uh, how and it's it, supposed to be. And if the director understands that and that, that relationship is there, then there's a strong possibility that that can happen. Uh, I know it's, for me, it, it's tough when you're just starting out. You know, I want this job, I need this job, and yet still to embolden oneself to say, and I want to be responsible for this, this, and this. Well, the best case is the happy beginning and happy end yes. script. Yeah. And each happy end script, there is a f more scripts without happy end. And we all know that when yeah. cinematographer coming in, and basically, yeah. Is this is your slot? Take it or leave it. What I've personally found out is that the, the name has changed. But when we have now our 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 final post uh, sessions, which we would call maybe a color corrections uh, session or the D digital intermediate session, which there's very little digital intermediate now because everything's di it's just it's, digital. It's, it's contradiction in yeah. terms now yeah. because yeah, what, it's, it's not intermediate anymore. People said, well, when we have all the tools that we have now in post, things are gonna be much easier. I find that in terms of working as a cinematographer, well, there are two things that happen. One, all the control that one put, all the artistic vision that one put into the work when one was doing the, the project, the film or the, the cinema, you have to be there to guard that in post-production. And when it comes, so it's making yourself available and sometimes we're not always available. And I can definitely tell the, uh, what happens. I mean, yeah, you have, to, you have to stay on top of the project every step of the way. So basically you described what we called in our school expanded cinematographer. Cinematographer yeah. has enough knowledge and vision to be from beginning to the end yes. and supervise or observe or influence all stages of visual construction from genesis, from, from, from beginning to the very end. This I, is our ideal, what our students would be or will be. Yeah, and, and I, I, I think the, the, the term expanded cinematography or whatever that term becomes is, should put the person we call the cinematographer today even more into the mix rather than stepping back and just saying somebody else will do it. There, there are things that I never thought I'd be that interested in, but I, I, they came to be essential to my still work, which was the, knowing what, what I could do in Photoshop, knowing uh, uh, how much the image could be manipulated. It's imperative that we at least have some sense of those tools and what they can do, and then also get into at, even if it's watching somebody else do post, so you know how the selection tools work. Because then you could be making very time-saving uh, decisions when you're on the set and go, okay, well, I know I'm going to be in post, and what's going to take me 20 minutes to do here, I can literally do in 35 seconds in, in 
post. Thank you for